Hello everybody and welcome back to So Aldo. In today's video, I am going to show you how I made this beautiful pleated dress. So if you want to see how, then keep on watching. First, I cut out the front and back bodices. This is going to be an empire waist. That's why the bodice is a little short than normal. The front bodice was cut on fold and the back bodice is going to be two pieces because we will add zipper. And here I adjusted the neckline because my daughter is planning to wear this as a jumper or like an overall dress. Then I transferred the darts on the fabric. The materials I used was a cotton twill and I don't have to line it because it is fairly thick. And I used two yards of fabrics here. If you would like to pattern match it, you will need more than two yards. So this fabric was actually just a leftover fabric from a previous sewing project. After I stitched the darts, it's time to put the bodice together. I am going to match the right sides of the fabric at the shoulders and the side seams. I also searched the raw edges of all the pieces. I added a waistband that is about three inches tall and the same width as the bodice waistline. After that, it's time to work on the bottom. Three panels for the bottom. So the front is 30 inches by 24 and then the back is just half of that. To be honest, the pleating technique here was just like estimate. Simply creating two inch box pleats. I will adjust it as I go because like I said earlier, I'm just estimating. And I will be using the bodice as my guide. After I'm satisfied with the way the pleats look, I am going to top stitch it so it will stay in place. Then I stitch the panels together, correct sides are facing. Then I join it at the waistline. Then I added the invisible zipper. I will finish the neckline using a bias tape. So I place it on the right side of the fabric and I'm going to stitch along the edge. When I get to the corner, I am going to pinch the edge so I can turn it properly. If you want the bias tape to be like an accent color for the neckline, you can place it on the wrong side. So when you fold it out later, it's going to show on the outside of the neckline. This part here is really time consuming because I want it to be as flat as I can get it want to be extra careful because this is the neckline and it's going to show on the front. That's the first thing you will notice. If you're still watching, don't forget to like this video and if you could share it, I will totally appreciate it. Next, I am going to stitch it down, make sure to backstitch and I'm just sewing it at the crease. Get to the corner, I am going to lift up the presser foot, then pivot the fabric, and then continue on sewing. And you will repeat the same steps to the rest of the corners. After that, I am going to clip the corners so it can release the tension along that edge so we can turn the bias tape flat. Notice I gave the ends about 2 inches still so I can trim it later on so I'm going to fold it in to hide the unfinished edge and then fold it one more time. 
and then stitch. This is one of my favorite way to finish a neckline because it is super easy as you can see here. Now it's going to be so much easier if you're going to press it. I'm gonna go back and sew it one more time and make sure you want to do it nice and even because this is going to be a finishing stitch it will show on the front of the neckline I will finish the armholes the same way and like I said earlier if you want the bias tape to be like a contrast detail you can stitch it on the wrong side and when you fold it out later on it's going to show on the outside. Reach the end be sure to give it an extra tail so you can overlap the unfinished edge so a way when you secure it later on it's going to give you a nice clean finish just like before i am going to stitch along the crease and i'm going to sew it in the round as the edge is so narrow, I didn't even grade it. I just fold it in and stitch one more time. If you are still watching until the end of the video, thanks so much for watching and I hope you like this dress. Let me know what you think in the comment down below. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to follow, likes, and share. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!